everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So today's video is going to be what I put in the kids' 1st of December slash Christmas Eve box, because I know people do this differently, and also what I've got them for their stockings so far. So quick disclaimer, if you have little ears listening to this video, maybe best to watch this on your own without them, just because I'll be saying things that Santa doesn't want me to say. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to come and join us just by clicking the subscription button. It's completely free. Um, and also, if you haven't already, then press the notification bell and you'll get a little ping up on your phone when a new video goes live. I hope, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does, but you never know, you could be sitting down with a cup of tea and then a notification pops up and you might think, oh, that's the kind of thing I'd like to sit and watch right now, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and if you have already, then thank you. And thank you so much for your lovely feedback on my videos so far this last month. The comments have been really, really lovely. Um, so let's just jump straight into this. It's gonna be the 1st of December tomorrow, which means that Buddy, the elf, we're very inventive with our elf names in this house, um, brings the boys calendars. So we've gone for the classic chocolate type this year and these are the Kinder Chocolate mini advent calendars. I think they had these last year as well. They really like them. They're so excited about them. We've never really done the toy advent calendars, um, maybe when they're a bit older, but for now they absolutely love the chocolate ones um, and they can't wait for these to arrive with Buddy in the morning. So the way we tend to do it in our house is a 1st of December box that Buddy also brings and it has some things in which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and they tend to, it tends to be filled a lot as well with activities they can do throughout the month because we found that when they were younger, when we gave it to them on Christmas Eve, they were so excited about Christmas Day and then family coming around, although we don't know what's going to happen with that this year. Um, and also like family would maybe give them a small present on Christmas Eve and stuff that they weren't obviously that bothered about doing the activities and they didn't really have time before it was... Christmas day um, so we just found that they get more use out of them but it really depends what you put in the box on Christmas Eve we like to all dress up in family pajamas and have other little traditions which I'll speak to you about again in a minute but it's just whatever works best for you really and what you do as your tradition um, so this is what we've got in the 1st of December box so a lot of the items I'm just about to show you were from home bargains I can't remember exactly how much they were but they were relatively inexpensive but they had some really lovely designs um, running through all the different bits and bobs you could get this year so we got them these mugs now they're a bit older, I thought I could trust them with actual, you know, China mugs. Um, and these are actually hot chocolate and marshmallow kits. So they come with the like cocoa powder and the marshmallows in. So they will look forward to having this at some point throughout December, probably tomorrow, knowing them. Um, but obviously we've got like hot chocolate in the cupboard so they can have some of the marshmallows and that we can use them throughout the month. Um, I'm sure they will absolutely love these. These make lovely gifts. So again, if you do a first, um, if you do a Christmas Eve box, these would be lovely popped in there for, you know, a Christmas Eve hot chocolate. I also saw these and I couldn't resist their little elf, um, cups they're plastic but they're kind of like snow globe cups these are the kind of things i'll try and put it in front of my face so it focuses on this and not me these are the kind of things i loved as a kid they were like a pound or two and um they will want to drink their drinks out of these all month so again i wouldn't want to get them anything like this on christmas eve because after christmas day do you really want the elf cups out i don't know maybe i'm a bit of a scrooge but i'd rather them have them all December long and then we can get them out the next year as well. So oh, they've got little stars in as well I just thought they were lovely and the boys will have fun Hopefully they don't shake them up with drinks in which will probably happen knowing them in B&M I found them some pajamas So we always have a tradition of wearing all matching Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve We do our little Christmas Eve dance, which we've done for the last I think four years now um, So hopefully you'll see that at some point probably on Christmas Eve um, but I thought it would be nice to pop these pyjamas in that they again can wear throughout December but they're space themed, they were £4 so obviously they can just wear them whenever because they're not you know just Christmas themed. I thought they were really lovely for £4. I actually had to get Elliot a pair of 5 to 6 and Archie a 6 to 7 because they didn't have a 3 to 4 but Elliot is quite big for his age so I'm sure he will be absolutely fine in the 5 to 6 to be honest. 
And then, like I said, I got them some activities. So um, these were all, again, from Home Bargains. They had so many. So we just got a little selection. They're like a pound a pack. Um, so this one is called Sleigh Bells Make Your Own Jumping Characters. So I think you can make six, so three each, or maybe me and Ricky can make one with them as well. Um, and they'll really like them because obviously they have little springs, so they'll jump up and down. Um, three plus, and oh, it says it makes three. Oh, it makes three, which is fine. One of us can do it with them and they can make one each. Also, I got this, which I really don't know if it's going to work, but they will probably love it. Um, it's a Noel magic Christmas tree and it grows in 12 hours. They actually grow and are quite gross once they're actually, have you seen them before? You can get like a grow your own dinosaur and random things like that. But this one actually comes with glitter, it comes with a star, um, little beads and apparently it goes green. It's brown right now so that's interesting to see how that happens. Um, and yeah, I just thought they'd really like it. I think, oh, you just pop the base which is here in the water and you put the Christmas tree in and it grows. So that will be very exciting to them for about five minutes, but it'll be worth it to see the look on their face when they wake up and their tree has grown. I also got them these um, sleigh bells, paint your own hanging decorations. So they have these little trees in their bedrooms, like three foot trees I think they are. And we just let them have whatever they want on it. A lot of it is dinosaur themed. So I thought they would really like these because there's four in here so they can have two each. They can have fun painting them. They're always trying to get me to get these painting sets. Um, they're really cute. I don't know what they'll come out like with the boys painting them, but um, yeah, I just really like them. Again, they're about a pound and um, they'll have a lot of fun doing that at some point throughout December. And then some stickers, again, they're about a pound. They have all of the characters from that kind of line that Home Bargains have done. And I think they've done such a lovely job this year. There's Santas, there's snowmen, there's um, reindeer, penguins, polar bears, all the classics, gingerbread man, and baubles and trees and nutcrackers. So yeah, there were quite a lot of bits and bobs in there of this kind of theme um but i thought that would keep them busy on the weekends and things like that and then we also are going to put in a pack of these cadbury's chocolates each because as exciting as the calendars are you know they can only have one chocolate so we thought it'd be nice to put in a little treat for them from buddy um to say you know santa's on his way he's not going to be long and here's a nice little treat we have different boxes, um, we've used different boxes every year, but this is the kind of thing that works really well. We might need a slightly bigger one because we usually just have one for both of them instead of one each. Um, but again, these are always from B&M or Home Bargains. I can't remember where this one's from, I think it was from last year, um, but they do them in all of those kind of shops, even Poundland. And they make the perfect Christmas Eve, 1st of December boxes, things like that. Unless you wanna you know, go all out and get your own personalized one, which you can also get, which I think are absolutely lovely and make really lovely family kind of heirlooms and traditions. And then when Buddy does come and visit us, these are a few of the things that he has got up to before. Um, so I thought I would share them with you. So sometimes he leaves these, which are official reports. We've actually, he's actually been leaving these for quite a few years, but we've still got a lot left. Um, I can't remember where he got them from. I think it was Poundland. Um, and they just say, you know, if, you've, if the children have been naughty or nice. So sometimes if we're going through a bit of a difficult few days in December, Buddy will leave one of these to remind the boys to be on the nice list. Um, so that's quite handy. And then this year, Buddy found in the range this um, magnetic elf. Some of it's fallen down. But basically, Buddy can appear on the fridge instead of in his elf form so we thought that that was quite clever and quite fun if buddy isn't feeling very imaginative one evening and doesn't really know what mischief to get up to um likewise these little stickers were also from the range i think he told me so basically this is buddy's house um he often leaves it down on the skirting board obviously because he's quite small and like he puts out his washing and goes through his elf door a little welcome mat and a poinsettia plant and a window um, so that's quite good as well and also Buddy has been known to be quite mischievous um, and he's been found on his little swing which looks a little bit ropey now because he likes to get this out every year um, and we often in the mornings find him swinging from 
you know, the curtain pole or something like that. He's a very mischievous elf and I can't wait for him to come back for the whole of December. <laughs> Yay! So then we're up to Christmas Eve. Like we said, we don't necessarily do a Christmas Eve box, um, but what we do uh, is generally, as I said, we all wear matching family pyjamas, so that's covered. We'll probably have hot chocolates in our mugs that we already have. Um, and then I do have a couple of other bits here. So they would usually probably get like a small present from their nan and granddad, for example, just to hype them up for Christmas, you know. But we also found this, which we thought we could play on Christmas Eve. This was in Home Bargains as well in the same set. Um, and it's past the Santa. So it's a bit like, obviously, pass the parcel, put some music on, and you all unwrap a, a layer when the music stops. The boys will love this. They had other ones. There was probably past the elf and a few others. My concern is that Santa seems to be naked, and I don't understand why. Am I missing something? Maybe it's just because it's his face. But I just, I don't know, I feel like he looks naked and he should have red on him. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's just a bit strange, but um, there's little toys inside. They're kind of like cracker toys, so it's just a bit of fun. But one that a three and a six year old particularly will love. And then we'll probably watch a movie and we will get out our Christmas book books. So over the years, we've amassed a little Christmas book collection. I'm so frustrated because when we got all the Christmas decorations down, we found the box of the books and now it is gone. We've looked in the loft again. I can't find it anywhere. Um, so I've managed to just find these that were in random boxes, but you get the gist. This one is The Night Before Christmas, which is a classic Christmas Eve book to read. Also this one, Cubs First Winter. Just any books with that Christmassy slash wintry feel. Um, and we just usually get the box out. We'll read them all through December. So it's another little tradition that runs all through the month, but we'll probably leave the night before Christmas till the night before Christmas. And then I found these in Home Bargains as well. I'm not sure yet whether to put them in their stockings or give them to them as a little Christmas Eve treat. Um, I just thought they were so lovely. I actually saw Rosie Henshaw mentioned these in one of her videos and as soon as I saw them I was like I have to try and find them. They were only a pound or two and they're just such beautifully iced biscuits. Like if you bought this in a really expensive like biscuit shop you'd be paying so much money for it. I mean I don't know what it tastes like but I just thought it looked beautiful. They do have fairies I believe as well, maybe other characters. I just love the nutcrackers, I thought they were gorgeous. And then finally, let's move on to Christmas stockings. So the boys really look forward to these. It kind of like starts off the morning. They always want to know, will Santa bring them a stocking? And I say, if you're good. <laughs> the classic parent line that you can use from about October onwards, I would say, as a bribe. Um, so I haven't completely got everything in here yet. So I'm just going to show you what I've got so far. So um, for their stockings this year, I try and get them as similar as possible, like depending on if things are age appropriate. Um, I got them some milky bar buttons. Again, they're like a pound or maybe even less than that. But who doesn't like those? The boys definitely do. Um, it is quite sweet heavy because I said this in another video, but when I was a kid, our stockings were just sweet for sweets, not toys. Um, so I've tr I just try and make it a mixture of sweets and a few little toys, but there's a lot of sweets in here. They probably won't eat them all on Christmas day, but they might, I don't know. <laughs> no, obviously they're not gonna get through all this in one day, but yeah, it's, there's quite a lot of sweets. So I also found these, I think again, they were in Home Bargains, again, a bit like the um, biscuits, I just thought they were gorgeous. I always try and get them these jelly type of things for Halloween and Christmas. You can just find them all over the place. I just love the little elves. Um, oh, his face is cracked, that's a shame. Um, but yeah, they were gorgeous, I really like those. I just thought they looked so much more expensive than they were. And then two big chocolate coins because obviously they are a classic and two bags of smaller chocolate coins. These these were like my childhood, like who didn't want these in their stocking on Christmas day? So you've got to love the chocolate coins and the giant ones. Oh, they've got a buddy on them as well. I didn't notice that. Don't know if you can see, it's got a little elf. I'm not exactly sure of exactly where all of this is from because I do pick random things up. But if you go to places like Poundland, B&M, Home Bargains, 
that's where the majority of this has come from. And then I found Kinder Santas. I think these might have been in Poundland actually. Um, they, like I said, love Kinder. I don't know. I don't think they've actually got anything in them. I don't think they have. Um, but my boys love a chocolate Santa. Elliot was asking for one for Halloween. So that's how long he want, he's wanted one for. He did actually get one for Halloween. <laughs> you say to Elliot, what do you want for Christmas? And he just goes, chocolate Santa or sweets. He has no concept of wanting presents. He just wants the sweets. <laughs> then I got them each something different because that I thought they were more appropriate for each of their ages. I found Elliot a little Peppa Pig book. This one is Wendy Wolf and it was from Poundland. He loves Peppa Pig. And I got Archie Guess Who. It says Guess Who Coasters. So I don't really know exactly what it is, but it is a game um, and it's for six plus. So it's basically Guess Who, the classic game, but in a different format. So I thought I'd give that a go, see if he likes it, because he does like little things like that. Um, then I got them each a Hot Wheels car. These are like the prized possession in this house at the moment. They have never been like huge car fans. They have different cars and things, but this year it's all about Hot Wheels. Like I said, Elliot's only really asking for sweets, but because his brother's so into Hot Wheels, he says, I want Hot Wheels. I found these in um, Poundland as well, I think. I'm a bit worried that they're different, that they might argue about them. But yeah, I found these little cars. I thought they were perfect stocking fillers. And then also these packs of stickers were from Poundland. Dinosaur ones for both of them because they just, they love stickers basically. So they'll like those. And then I couldn't not get a pack of classic candy canes. I'll probably put a few of them in their stockings. I might use a few to like put on presents to finish them off. Um, I'm sure I'll use them, but I just think they're just so Christmassy, aren't they? They just symbolize Christmas. Um, so I've grabbed those and that's everything I think that I've managed to get so far. I'm pretty much set. I think I will get a couple more bits for their stockings. Uh, maybe a couple more little surprise eggs or toys, just things that are small. Maybe even a new toothbrush and toothpaste because you can kind of get away with that at Christmas. Uh, maybe not, no more chocolate for the stocking. I don't really know. I'll see what I find throughout the month. Um, but I feel quite organised with all of this now. I hope you enjoyed that little talk through of everything from the 1st of December box all the way up to stocking fillers on Christmas morning and everything in between. Let me know what you thought of this video. I do have a kids Christmas gift guide coming up very soon as well so make sure you're subscribed for that. Um, I'm just waiting on a couple more things to arrive and then I will do it. Yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video everybody. Please give it a thumbs up if you did to let me know that you enjoyed it and I'd love to chat to you in the comments below as well. Have a lovely day and I'll see you again very soon. Bye guys!